Hello everybody and welcome to another quick tip. Today I want to talk about something that a lot of people miss and that is fonts.adobe.com and fonts.adobe.com is a great search engine you can use to find fonts. I know a lot of people find fonts from different sites on the internet but I encourage you to not use those sites as you don't know where those fonts are coming from, if they're properly licensed, or if they even contain viruses. Fonts.adobe.com allows you to install fonts that you can use across your Adobe projects, and it also has a good variety of tools that you can use as you're deciding on a font. Here on the front page we have a search engine, but we can also use the tabs up here at the top of the screen to decide on what we're looking for. So, for example, all fonts does exactly what it says. It shows us all the fonts that are available. One of the things that I like as I'm looking for a font is this tag option here. So if I'm looking for something maybe a little funky, I can select funky. Over at the side, I can choose from list, grid, I can turn the images off so I only see the type. I can choose the size of the type, I can choose the sort of the type, and I can even put in sample text here so I can decide what kind of font I might use for a project. If I scroll down, I can see different fonts that are available to me, and if I find something that I like, I can select Add Family to add it to my Adobe tools. Also on the side, I have the opportunity to choose the classification. So for example, if I wanted a script font, I could select that and it would only show me script fonts that are related to the style that I chose earlier. Back at the top, the next option is recommendations. So here we have different fonts that are recommended by Adobe. We can choose for all fonts, fonts for me, trending fonts, newest fonts, hidden gems, and staff choice. I really like the hidden gems because sometimes I find fonts that not everybody else is using. And we've all run into that problem where we use a font and then you're like, oh, I've seen that on this ad or that poster or something like that. So this gives us some different options. It's also interesting seeing what the staff choices are simply because there's some things that might be a little bit different than I typically go for that work really well in a project. Speaking of projects, when you're working on a project, sometimes you need a bunch of fonts to work together. And up here we have font packs. So these are packs of fonts that you can download that might work for a specific project. So here, for example, Psychic Waves, this looks really nice and it might be something that I would be using if I was creating an event for a student flyer. The last option up here at the top is Foundries. Foundries are a showcase of Foundry partners, handpicked by the Adobe Fonts team, and it really gives you some really neat fonts here that you can use through your projects. Once you've installed fonts, if you need to do something to manage them, in the Creative Cloud Desktop app, you can go to Manage Fonts and select All. This will show you all the different fonts that you have installed, and if you select the breadcrumb menu here, we could remove Family and take it away if you don't need it anymore. Additionally, if you select Browse More Fonts, that will take you right to fonts.adobe.com and let you look for fonts that you might need for your project. Well, that's it for this week. Hope to see you again next week for another quick 